So, a new week begins with the awful escape continuing. Quite an interesting game to start with. I mean, graphically, as you can see, really good game. It's a musical slash game as well. But yeah, a good way to start the week. Really difficult to find got the phone to wear. New Year, phone problem. Recycling, cardboard first. That's the cardboard done. Cans and bottles, well. That's done. And last but not least, the rubbish. The rubbish is all done. Well, new year, new bedding from last week, and a new pen. <laughs> Black marker that we had to read. You can see starting from the end of last week. So we get a new record on the cards of 1922. Brand new year, so just under 4,000 after two days. One, two nines, we're now two of them. 623,000. And we're six days, which is what? Top row, half of the middle row. We're 1,800 before the end of the 14 rounds. Well, there you go, the art for escape, complete the game. I have to say, it's one of the best graphically designed games I've ever played. The, the colours that go into it, the different animals that are in, wow. It is basically a musical game about, well, someone who doesn't think there's musicals, yet they are. And there you go, the end. The surprising thing is that it's only a 12 unlock game and yet it could be so so many more but it is a completion and it also was a bit of a strange one that five days into the month we played two games and completed them both. After the build that we got for Christmas the mini one wasn't well usual because of missing pieces and because there was a bit of money spare from it. And there was a bit of a notice about a noob launch, about a Lego Sonic, we snapped it up. It looks really good from the outside. We haven't had a Lego build for a while since the one over here, as you can see the space shut up. Obviously the most famous one is the Simpsons house from a few years back, but yeah, Lego Sonic. A bit of an update on the initial progress of the Lego Sonic. Behind is the box is what it should look like. This is halfway through. Now you think it's not a lot of pieces. We've gone through three bags, and the main thing is that every single individual piece, as you can see there, whether it's orange or brown, is individual. So you've got Sonic with the three emeralds. One of the things with Lego is to do spare pieces. So there's two of every emerald. So you could actually do the front lining them up and do some more. I mean it's gonna be one way you can interchange a bit. You've got the First enemy, you've got the palm tree, you've got the water down there, with the loop de loop, which was quite interesting building that, but yeah, there's the first progression. 1125 pieces, why it's 18 plus, I don't know. It's finally done, there's a bit of a nice touch, it's hard to see here, but like a high score table, and the name at the top is the person who designed it, called Viv. That one is, you can see, like the little protection bubble, that's because the two. On that side, which is the speed and the ring, we'll zoom out because the focus isn't great. Just turn it round. Oops. It is one thing that some of the pieces do move about, but it isn't an exact one. That one where you've got the checkpoint, red and blue. The rings do actually move. One thing that is quite ingenious in the build, a little hard to see in the darkness. There we go. Is it is actually a spring that actually does work. So it actually does spring up, which is quite fun. What comes with it as well is obviously you have your Chaos Emeralds. There's a spare of every single one of them. And also, no Sonic feature has ever done without a proper enemy. Which is robotic. Very well detailed as well. So, there you go. Sonic Lego, as recommended, is a good afternoon for anyone. Oh, with the Lego Sonic thing still just done did a countdown record 129 times 3 well like London buses records seem to be fine one one nine two three 
to 625,000 overall and 17.95 over the 5,000 mark for the month already. So all good, another record. Oh, a new name on the gaming collection, as you can see we are on Windows. It's called Danger Energy, and one of the reasons that we are on it. As you can just see the Exitillon. Any previous viewers will know that when a new Exitillon game comes out, if it's within the price range that we usually spend for games, we get it to keep the lead up. So let's see if this one is as good as the others. Here we go, about half an hour to 40 minutes to play. There was a bit of a guide involved because some of the levels were a bit tricky and <coughs> after all the Tillions there's a bit of help sometimes. As you can see the nice way all achievements unlock for this game. There is a Xbox version we may well get and do. I can't see it being the last time we ever play it though because the amount of levels on the game as you can see there's only 15 unlocks we've done 15 levels. There's upwards of 50, 60 levels in the entire game, which in any other developer we would play. However, we know Extillion all too well that when you play a level that's not an achievement, when the achievement does eventually exist, it glitches on you. So, let's stay in at 15 for now. Well, they say London buses just for the things that come in twos, things that come in threes, I'm not too sure. <laughs> because it's another record, it's the fourth day of the week, and it's the third in the row with a record. I don't think I've ever done four records in a week, so tomorrow could be an historic first it's going to be an historic first for one thing because you can see there 1796 we do a minimum of 30 in the final round which means tomorrow's 1826 minimum <coughs> it means that 9391 will be beaten so it'll be a best ever week however this year the goal was to get nine and a half thousand in a week if we hit 128 across the board and 129 as you can see there basically if it's a <coughs> A full conundrum tomorrow, it means that in the first week of the year, I'll have hit me goal. Which is a bit bizarre, but yeah. 1924, over 7,500 for the week, and ticking over nicely, 627,000 overall. Well, it's Friday, and we'll start with the quality check of 100% in work this morning. Got the day off, good. I've had what could possibly be the best week ever in countdown. <laughs> We've had four records before, but never hit 1900 plus. 1922, 1923, 1924, 1925. It all means that a best ever week of 9517, which is more ironic because the goal for this year, as part of the New Year's goals, was to get to a week with 9500 in, and the first attempt, it's been done. It's the next one. What? I think the next goal for countdown wise would be to hit 1987, so hit the year of birth, which is, well, 52 away, that's not too far, and then it may be 9750, but best week, best day, as you see, 129's now completed the top row, we're not far off 1800 minimum per day, and we're now up to 89 weeks with the 444, but 9517, amazing. The game continues with the game I didn't think I'd ever be playing again. Cruise Brothers Combat School Edition. The reason for this is that there seems to have been an update dropped yesterday for an extra thousand, so it'll need to be a recompletion. There you go, there's the final unlock. You are the bomb for winning 10 in a row at King It Hill. <coughs> Does say 11, but we did come onto the game from the last time we played it with one as a streak. So there you go, nice work, so achievements unlocked in this game. It's not a full completion because it's only an update, but it's a recompletion, and it means that every game we've played so far, so far this year, is a game that we've either recompleted or completed. Well, we've played the Windows version, now time to play the Xbox version to finally get another Exitillion series up. Danger Energy. And there you go, game to start the weekend off. Days of Energy now completed both versions. Bottom in the bottom in the corner. Nice way to go, achievements unlocked. So we continue that every game we've played in 2022 has been started and finished. So gaming wise, we're moving on back to Kill It With Fire. Not specific as in going for completion, just there's a few on it that we didn't get last year when we were doing the challenge and now the new year we're free to do so. Well, there you go, from downtown is the last one for shooting the spider with the revolver in the distance. As you can see there, well, as you can see where we pause it. Nice work, all achievements unlocked on this game. 
It's a little hard to see. There you go. On Kill It With Fire. It is now Sunday morning, so when we went on originally in the opening clip on Saturday night, it was just to get a few unlock spots. They realised that they all seem to fall into place. So we're now on the 9th of January, and every single game I've played this year has left with a completion. To end the week, doing a bit more of the puzzle. What's changed from last week is there's a little ordinary bit in the top corner. We've made the new badge a bit bigger. All pieces. Next badge is starting to take a bit of shape there. On this side, massive difference. Obviously, the orange badge was not worthy to be seen. That's been created. I thought one on the far side has been done as well. LFC one in the middle, the white one. The red one started to be formed. There's quite a big section with nothing in. But it will be done eventually, and it's nice progress report.